I'm just going to give him a look at the side here, maybe go in, watching my step of course. Okay, the light's shining kind of down, so we're going to get a lot of ground shots here, but the brightness, I'm still impressed, forgive me. Um, <laughs> around here it looks like there's a collapsed door here let's just go ahead and step on in could be like an individual living course here shower bathroom here on the piping on the walls make your own deduction here I don't really know these buildings all that well but maybe you can tell what some of these things are and leave your impressions in comments oh man What the fizzle toast is this? Okay, that was weird. What the fizzle? No. All right. Anyway, wrapping that up. Take you around the outside of the building here and show you the rest of one of my favorite buildings to paranormally investigate. It's uh. Did she go out there by herself, or? Yeah. Oh, okay. I heard voices from inside the, is this the parlor? I think so, yeah. This is the, oh, I know so. Whatever it is. Yeah. There's a nice, empty, vagrant building there. Place is definitely a fixer-upper. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, it just never gets old. <laughs> okay. You are listening to Brian the Barn Cat Lee, and with me is Nick Snyder. We are checking out the milk parlor building here, giving you a look at all of the insides here. If you see uh, anything pop up in these videos that uh, um, would be of interest to us, go ahead and leave the reply on YouTube comments, the time and segment of where you saw said occurrence. That was me. Scraping the door there. We've had K2 interactions there on that door. This pipe is just... They just vandalized the heck out of this. Look at this. Wow. More theater blood like last time. Yeah. Complete with the handprints. People trying to be scary. They don't realize what all I have seen already in, in this line of work and just life in general. Yeah, that's beside the... Geez, there's more hands. It's like they just flung it all over the place. There's more handprints. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got that Halloween scary effect to it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, this is the inside of the milk parlor here. Pipes hanging down here. A lot of dairy was produced. Mm -hmm. Another broken glass. I thought that was droplets or something. This is where we actually met up with a couple of other members of our group and we did a big public investigation. They peeped in and we had no idea that they were part of the group. They just rendezvoused here and met us. And I was like, that's awesome. We've got some of the most intuitive members around. This one here, I love this picture. Me and Melissa glommed onto this one the first time we saw it and uh, called it the Dark Angel. Look at how it looks yeah. like on this. <laughs> oh, wow, it does. Uh-huh. That's cool. <laughs> I used this as a uh, WhatsApp profile pic for a while there because I just like the look of it. Yeah. It, it. But it almost looks like a figure there standing there with wings behind it. It does. It's the angel of death. Ooh. Yeah, let's get another look at the moon here. We've got a full blood moon going on tonight. It looks like uh, last night was a full sturgeon moon, but we've got enough of a moon shining here and of just the right shade. I'd, I'm loving it. I think we can squeeze in a secondary shot here. This building really doesn't stand out much on its own. Nothing has really significantly happened to us in it. Well, yet. But uh, we have heard noises in there, footsteps. Just like that. Yeah, it's still dark in there. You aren't going to see a lot. But, uh, okay, so that's that clip wrapping up. More to come later.